It's sled dog season and the UP 200 is this Friday. But what does it take to be a musher and have dozens of dogs in your backyard daily? In the first of a three part series, TV6's David Jackson brings us an inside look at a musher's life. In some years we have 10,000 people downtown. If you haven't seen that, I suggest you show up. It's, it's really quite amazing. It's hard to simulate that. We like to simulate a lot of stuff that we can teach our young dogs and training and stuff. That's one thing that is very hard to simulate. Training dogs to withstand the miles of running and the brutal conditions takes more than just passion. It takes a lot of work to, to put a dog team together for the mid-distance races. Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of time practicing, a lot of time training. And it takes a lot of resources, and that cost is taking its toll. According to race officials, there is only one person from the UP signed up to race the main event, where 27 years ago, at the first race, most of the mushers were from the UP. I, I think it's... Um, an expensive sport. I see kennels that, you know, they a lot of them will look to get sponsorships. With thousands of dollars involved with even getting to the starting line, what do trainees have to do in order to get their teams up to speed? Everybody says, well, do you ever make your dogs run? No, we don't ever make our dogs run. They, 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 they love to run. That's, they're born to run. Dog teams are assembled in a variety of ways. Some people buy their dogs. Some have dogs practically find them. There have been times where I've gone in the shelter and this I don't know, there's just like an attitude. Yeah. Um, the dog just kind of talks to you. Some people choose to breed their team and run generations of sled dogs. Getting a dog from brand new to race ready takes time. Most mushers prefer to have them be at least two years old before hooking them up to a sled. But for some... Depends on the dog. Each dog is different. We've, we've taken dogs as young as six, seven months and on short runs. Just fun runs, let them get used to it, let them play with it. Um, we don't pressure any of the dogs into it. Not every dog wants to run, not every dog wants to be a race dog. Tomorrow, we'll look into what it takes to build a race-ready team. For TV6 News, I'm David Jackson.